Hello everyone, welcome back to second episode of Pregnant Husband. I hope you will love it. Thanks for your way. I spent the entire night in bed tossing and turning, unable to sleep with Arjun Cook's warm body beside me. I t- tried texting and calling him but was unable. So I spent the rest of the night worrying and imagining the worst case scenario. I assumed Arjun Cook would be thrilled at the possibility of us starting our family, maybe. I misunderstood him, maybe he doesn't want a baby, maybe he no longer loves me. I lay awake for hours in the bed, clenching Jungkook's pillow and inhaling the comforting accent. Morning sickness in the end was what dragged me out of bed at 5 pm. I let out proper soap as I emptied my stomach, my cleanses white with the force I was using to keep hold on of it while I sat back on my legs after two episodes of vomiting all I could do was wish my husband was here to take care of me to brush my hair away from my eyes and place a cold cloth on my face to hold me on the bathroom floor and press sweet kisses to my swept hair after an hour the nation's head subsided enough for me to get up and get ready for the day to work. I prayed I didn't have to go to the first time in the life, but I convinced myself it would be good distraction as I dressed and forced myself to eat a dry piece of toast before leaving. Unfortunately, the hour seems to drag on and I was just revealed that it was finally the weekend and I let in the last of my younger kid out of the classroom after the last bell rang. As I drove back to my house, I switched off the radio and included in my self-pity. I held my breath as I rounded the corner onto my our street hoping to see Jungkook's car waiting for me in the driveway. It wasn't that what I even realized how terrible his action were. My despair turned to rage with Jungkook still not answering my calls or text. I decided to call his mom to see if she knows what was going on. She picked up on the third ring and I can tell by tone of her voice that she at least knows part of the story. What happened to Hang? She immediately asked as I scoffed at her accusing tone. Jungkook got here in tears late night last night and refused to leave his old room all day. He even refused to go to work. What's happening in is that your son is acting like an heck. I said bitterly, letting out all my rage I would been holding in since last night. I told him he was going to be a father and he strummed out of me in shock. As soon as I, the word left my mouth, I regretted doing, it, doing so and the hisses in my mother in laws breath helped me to relax a little. You're pregnant, she said, and although she couldn't see me over phone, I nodded. I'm sorry, I said sleeplessly before my voice rose in anger and I remember how Jungkook had abandoned me at such an important moment but I am. So can you please talk some sense into your grown head son and send him back home? He, his dad did the exactly same thing when he found out I was pregnant with Kirk, she said, getting out of sight the Chian man was stubborn thing but i will try my best i promised she said before hanging up although i was far from hunger hungry i forced myself to eat for the sake of the baby when i heard the front door open i was sitting at the dining room dining table just finishing up some leftovers i rushed out of my chair and stormed to the front door, standing in front of Jungkook and sending him 
टू वर्स विद माई आईज वॉट द फ्रिक चौक आई सेड वुड यू माइंड एक्सप्लेनिंग वाई यू लेफ्ट मी आफ्टर आई टोल्ड इट दैट आई वॉज प्रेगनेंट फॉर फ्रिक सेक एज ही रगड ऑफ एज कोट एंड टर्न बैक टू फेस मे जंकू का पीरियड सैड एंड एडजस्टेड आई एम सॉरी I was just so scared. Thank you. I still am really. My expression softened slightly as at his words, and I waited anxiously for him to explain further. I'm deep. Thank you. He said flatly, and the obvious pain on his face hurt me to the core. I know that Jungkook. I'm deep. How will I ever be a good parent junkuk has shattered my heart into million pieces i wouldn't be able to hear them cry when they needed their diaper change or or when they are hungry i wouldn't be able to hear them scream when they got hurt in the garden i wouldn't be able to hear them first word or hear them laugh As I drew closer to him, I felt an overpowering need to hold and protect him from the evil, all evil in the world. Jungle Club, you're going to be the best dad ever. Those things don't don't matter one bit. You will find way to make it work, yeah. And it, I just know you are going to be such a great parent, love. You are. So caring and gentle, this baby is going to love you so much. I said, grabbing one of his hand and pressing it against my flat belly. You and you will still get to see them. They are take their first step and see them smile and play outside. You will get to teach them how to bake and cook and how to be kind and amazing like you. I paused and reached over to wipe a few tears from his cheeks. I just wished he would talk to me. Jungle living like this is not an option anymore. This is a baby. We are talking about love. I need you. I can't do this on my own. I smiled at Jungle Run. His thumb over the fabric of my shirt. Before removing his hand, I know I'm really sorry. The he said just with a slight grimace that. Was a sick move on your part. I'm sorry. On my part, I'm sorry. Love, I'm here now. I swear, I love you, and I love this baby so much already. I'm just so scared of messing it all up. Just talk to me, yeah. Instead of leaving me alone, wondering what the heck is happening, I said gently before leaving. In to pull him into hug i promise i will do better i love you both of you junko thanks for your baby baby will you please stop that it's driving me insane i said motioning to the leg junko had been nervously bouncing up and past few minutes five minutes it has been almost two weeks since we found out about the baby and he would be sitting in the waiting room for our first parental checkup sorry just a little nervous junko motor pausing the moment and reaching across to take my left hand in his he had become much more involved and supportive and every time everything about in his initial reaction to the news he took the after known of from work and attend the appointment and while i appreciated jungkook's company he was fidget and nervous to point to the point of driving me mad jian thang and jian jungkook um, nurse said and jungkook followed behind after i got up and followed her she led us to the small room where she measured and waited me while jungkook sat in an uncomfortable plastic chair of the side 
She quickly left after finishing assuring Jungkook and me that the doctor will be with us soon and telling me to get on the bed. I completed giving Jungkook a slight pout as I dragged myself up onto the small bed. What's wrong, love? Jungkook asked, drawing his eyebrows. I have already gained our pounds. Four pounds, I mumbled gruffly. Grumpy as I said, Jungkook gave a soft laugh and reached over to take my hand, kissing it in the back of it. All for a good cause, right? Before I could respond, the door slammed shut behind me and I sat along with the doctor's word as I introduced himself, herself. Do you have any idea how far long you are? She asked. I friendly smile on her face as I shrugged sleeplessly. That's all right, I'm going to do an uh, ultrasound, see if we can figure out that that out. She told me to lie fully flat on my back and lift up short then I squinted some gel over my still flat lower tummy. Jungkook smiled as I jumped slightly to the coldness of it. The screen was initially turning away from us as the doctor studies examined it and uh, I bit my lower lip as I waited for her to show us our baby. By the look of things, I would say you are in your 10th week right now, she said finally flipping the screen around and pointing to the uh, small features on the screen. Are they healthy? I asked my eyes welling up with emotion as I looked my first took my first look at our baby on the monitor. So far everything appears to be in order, the doctor said and Jungkook breathed a sigh of relief as I said her response to him would you like to hear the heartbeat i watched as jungkook's face fall as we realized this was one of those things he wouldn't be able to do for a brief moment i consider declining to show jungkook that we were genuinely in this together but at the end i nodded reaching for his hand at, as the doctor flipped a switch the room was filled with noise and it took a few seconds for the sound to clear up enough for me to hear the baby's quick heartbeat it's really fast i said loud as i tapped on my thumb against the back of my husband's hand interpreting meditating the rapid rhythm of the baby's heartbeat it took him a little longer to figure out what i was up to but as soon as he did his face light up and a huge grin is that then he asked with the other hand his own eyes started to tear up when i nodded thank you we exchanged tears is tear smile as we were in our own little world for a minute or two I will get some picture printed for you to and then we will talk about it for a bit. She finally said as she switched off the money machine and handed me a few tissues to wipe my tummy clean before ex- existing the room. Jungkook smiled as I wiped the gel from my stomach and threw my shirt down. Then I sat up on the edge of the bed, legs struggling over the side that was incredible. I said a distant smile on my face, causing my by the image of her baby still fresh in my thoughts. Jungkook's POV, we were sitting on the couch as usual later that evening after the sonography sonograms had been m- mounted on the fridge and my homemade brave beef tacos the first of the hung's pregnancy craving 
had been eaten thang was crawled against my side as i read the first chapter of and thang novel while he was it reruns on his fear so expect i can't seems to concentrate on the story tonight the thoughts are and with thoughts and fear occupying my mind since our appointment when i realized i had read the same paragraph three times without noticing it i finally put the book down not good thing as gesturing gesturing the book as he looked up that when i realized my other hand finger was abs mentally dancing across his arm i merely shook my head nuzzling my face into the hands of her and inhaling the sweet scent the familiar grounds me a bit i hummed uh, to grab his attention once more what if the baby is deaf i asked thanks pov it was the painted expression on jungkook's face that made me frown not the expecting question itself and i reached it up to cup yes it wouldn't change anything love i said with a serious expression we would love them just the same jungo frown and shook his head once more would you still love me though if our baby was deaf he asked after a couple of moments as i felt my heart clench of course i said tears welling up in my corner of my eyes and i thought of my husband feeling this way about himself it made me feel like worst partner ever and i wish jungo was small enough to fit in my pocket so i could slide shield him from every hurtful remark and unintentional stare from strangers how could you even think like that jungkook jungkook ignored my question as he continued singing it would be sending it would be my fault though our child would never be able to hear anything and it would all be my fault they would get bullied in his school for being deaf and it would be my fault they would struggle to make friends and communicate with others and it would be my fault it would all be my fault they are my as tears streamed freely from my eyes i quickly took his hand and placed them on my lap janko ko stop it He took a few deep breaths, trying to calm himself down as he sees how worked up I was getting over this. And nothing would change if the baby ends up being deaf. Baby, we will still love and cherish them no matter what, and teach them to be kind and strong and loving. And it certainly wouldn't be your fault, Jungkook. Do you understand that? I said, frowning when Jungkook. to the not a respond at truly mean that jungle cat wouldn't be your fault if the baby is deaf it would never blame i would never blame or hate you for it it would never be your fault i repeated what i said until jungle finally nod and if they are deaf they are going to be so damn lucky to have you as a dad you will be able to teach them all the tricks and help them to get through everything just like your dad did when you were a kid i moved over to give his hand a kick his kiss before continue as he had a small smile on his face i'm serious uncle kid wouldn't change anything and i really hope you believe that to be true as well i do jungle said pausing to look at me for a second i just don't want them to go through all the hard trip i had to endure as a kid i wouldn't wish that upon anyone but seeing my old child go through that would kill me today as i gathered my thoughts i said 
deeply and moved to in lap and himself in him in a warm hug although i had never known jungkook as a child i had heard many stories over the years about what he had to go through in school and all the nasty things people said and did to him it crunches my heart just thinking about it and i'm internally grateful as jungkook had such wonderful parents to help him deal with everything i know you don't want them to have an endure what you went through and that's normal love no parents ever wants their kid to suffer or get hurt or feel sad but that's just what life is isn't it they will face hardship no matter what what whether they are deep or not we will never be able to protect them from everything baby they are still going to gauge into knees and the playground and came to us crying for comfort they will still experience their first real heartbreak they will still no grief and sadness there is literally nothing we can do or prevent it love what we could can do though is be better for them and prepare them for the best as we can for the reality of the world i pause taking another deep breath before continuing so it would be easier to do all that if they are in tip but it wouldn't matter in any other way they we would just have to work a little harder to protect them by the time i finished jungko was silent cry, silently crying so i threw my arms around him again and let him cry on my shoulder thanks bio we we found out the gender of the baby when i was 20 weeks pregnant jungko had been hesitant to find out at first believing that keeping it a secret until the delivery would be so much more fun and that it would affect anything anyhow but while i agreed with my husband that the gender of the baby would make no difference since we both agreed to raise a baby without gender norms and projections i was far too eager to find out ultimately i pouted and the agreement that since i was the one carrying the baby i should the doctor started she could tell the baby center and ask if we wanted to know what we would be having at our 20 weeks checkup i asked her to write it down and instant as per my best friend's request she mean had been pushing me to let him go me a gender reveal party since our friends and family found out we were expecting a recurrently let up after many phone calls spending presenting and arguments as well as a few text to jungkook to get him on board just tip it on to the backyard on what what had started as a peaceful saturday i almost immediately regretted my decision we would been fortunate with a beautiful weekend and our friends had been decorating our backyard all morning slowly turning it into a pink and blue nightmare but he is my best friend and i know he was delighted to be a part of his life green as a we stupid us red gripping jungkook's hand a little too tighter tightly both of our families were presenting and we were some of the close friends and i know i would have a good time despite the dreadful decoration he really did how did himself i said with a clench as i looked around me sing smiling gratefully when jungkook pulled out a chair for me although i was only half way through my pregnancy i already had a noticeable bump i 
was a little concerned about my size since I don't recall my mom becoming this big this early in any of her pregnancies. But the doctor assumed, assured me that my last appointment that I was normal size for my stage of pregnancy however i could still feel the baby's weight on my lower back and hips and i will and i will entirely thankful for my husband to constantly watching out for me and going out his way to make me comfortable jungkook's pov i had been chatting with our moms and jungkook's sister for a while when i noticed jungkook sitting with his father a little further away i took a break from my current conversation figuring the ladies wouldn't mind some girl talk for a while and i tried to follow jungkook and his father's exchange how did you do it when honey was a baby jungkook asked his father a deep frown adoring his face like how did you know when she cried or how to talk to her when the older man recently patted his son on the back after speaking i before speaking i smiled i'm not going to lie son it wasn't always easy i had i saw my husband deflate even more at his dad's spot but we made it work your mom had a regular baby monitor when i had a vibrating one and i kept under my pillow at night and i like an alarm clock so i could tell when she cried at night and during the day i learned to tell what she needed by the expression it took some adjustment it was same with you my dad said with a smile even though your sister didn't need it we taught her sign language so we could all communicate with the family as a family we figured it out and i know you will too jungkook damn jimin shouted from behind me prompting me to snap my head up to look at him blushing as he caught me ear dropping on my husband's conversation with his dad are you ready for the reveal now i smiled and nodded my tummy clenching and with anticipation and the idea to know the gender of the kid in matter of minute who will get chunked i said I grabbed my husband from the spot apologizing to his father and disturbing their talk and took him to the reveal spot my best friend had chosen Jungkook kept one hand on my lower back as Jimin explained that would what would happen he then handed Jungkook a large clear balloon with a black balloon inside filled with colored powder i had i was buzzing next to him waiting for jungko to pop the balloon inside that would color the outer balloon with either pink or blue powder jungko grinned boldly as me and he poked it and i plunged at honey's scream my face is crunch Jim up for a second before breaking into tears are you all right are you in pain jungkook was crying and clenching my arm as tears streamed down my cheeks just a bit soft i said tears still streaming down my face as someone from the crowd shouted the baby center jungkook look jungkook was pulled out of the trees and look at the balloon his mouth kept open as he noticed the blue color inside it We are having a boy. I shouted, a white grin on my face as I stared at him, perplexed since he never shouts when people are around. 
He then turned to face me and held my face before placing a kiss on my lips, which led me to close my eyes. His other hand came around my head to embarrass me as he placed one of hand on my grand palm. After being on my feet for majority of the day, I came from home from school. On Wednesday evening during the 27th week, winning about how badly my back hurt. It was bright and sunny outside, and the kids were getting a little restless in the stuffy classroom. So I proposed taking a nice long walk outside. I quickly regretted my decision. My swollen feet and huge belly made even each. I step agonizing and the scorching afternoon skin sun blazing down on us made my skin sticky and sweat within a minute the kids on the other hand had a good time and the time outside had undoubtedly helped them relax and i had been thankful for the chance to settle back back at my desk for the last hour of the day while they entertained themselves with paper and crayons junk picked up up on my desk on part as soon as i went through the front door noticing how i moved slowly and carefully to avoid upsetting my already sore muscles he assisted me to the couch lying a soft pillow behind me and I did a support and rubbing my swell feet which caused me cry and pleasure and relief be stay in the position while waiting for dinner which I cook has conveniently had just cook in the oven Jungkook didn't want me to have to get up and move simply to get to the table so we It sat beside on the couch after it was done. After eating, he ran me a wonderful warm bath, and I relaxed and bathed in the hot water, putting while putting my head over my floated arms and on the bathtub leg. Jungkook took me out of the tub after around twenty minutes, wrapped me into a soft. so well to keep me warm he helped me put a pair of trees boxes and one of his oversized t-shirt and in t-shirt and encouraged me to lie on the side in bed and so he could have complete access of my back side jungkook sent felt like heaven on my sore back as I was grateful I didn't have to hold back the noises that escaped my lips every time Jungkook's finger dug into the particles tense spot I finished faced him a bit and said tell me about your day please my mouth felt heavy and sluggy as I spoke and the words along with my gesture Another glance over my shoulder confirmed Jungkook had seen my request and he moved his hand away from my back and for a moment to say you can see me in this this and love plus I would have to stop giving him a massage I gave him a lazy smile no but I can hear you I said my smile more friend went into a smirk as I noticed Jungkook's expression of realization I laid my head back against my pillow, constant as Jungkook sent resumed their work on the lower back. We had this client at the restaurant during lunch service who asked for her chicken medium rare, and my sous chef had to go and explain that we can't cook chicken. However, clients want. Like a steak because of what did I hurt you? Jungkook asked, cutting himself off when I jerked my body. I 
As I gasped, I shook my head and rolled over to face him. Keep talking, I said, pressing a hand to my bump where I felt our son kicked. Shankar looked confused as he started sunning. This time I was saying I sent the surf. I cut him off by grabbing one of his hand and pressing it to a bump. Whether wise place, Jungkook looked confused as he resumed speaking aloud, pressing, pausing in middle of a sentence as he felt moment under his finger. Is that him? He asked, his gaze falling, falling on me. And now he started kicking. The second he started talking, I think he likes his dad's voice. I said, smiling at the way Jungkook's eyes lift up at my watch. Can he really hear me? Jungkook asked, rubbing soft circle with the hand over the region where he can feel our son kicked repeatedly. The doctor said the baby's hearing should be developing after, start after week 24 and that some babies react to sound in bombs. I said with a smile, it means he is not deep, right? Jungkook asked with his hand moving away from my bum. Now that the baby had calmed down, he wouldn't react to my voice if he didn't hear. He couldn't hear. He bit his lower lips as he waited for me to answer. I mean, I mean, no one, I mean, I'm no hearing a specialist, but it seems pretty clear to me that he can hear your voice if he is reacting to it, I said. His face erupted into a large smile as he reached down to kiss my bump fake. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I love you so much already he mumbled against my skin before pulling pulling away the precious of kiss to my lips and i love you too thank you no sharing in front of the baby i said jokingly glaring at him i love you too baby to be continued everyone there is going to be one more episode of this story i hope you will love it thanks a lot for reading it bye bye